Hi everybody, I want to show you something that I've constructed out of an old disconnect box that I've obtained um, by changing it out because this one was faulty. Well, I got it the transformer box. I mean, got it, not the transformer, but the disconnect. And I added um, line voltage protection. I added a transformer. I added um, a, tw a breaker system for 24 volts um, that it's resettable and I added a push button um, contact so if I want to have it on an on position on that I can um, you know test it that way components I have a um, switch that goes two positions either on all the time or off or on where it goes on a push button contact so let's go ahead and close this and look on the other side. So as you see right here, you see um, my breaker system, my on all the time, or on, if I go the other way, push button on, and then my voltage coming out where I can connect things. And my demonstration purpose is I have a 24 volt secondary three pull contactor which when it closes you can hear my ohms meter which I have across it close so we'll have it on all the time see right here you can see it goes on or off or we'll switch it here in our push button Okay, let's go ahead and um, take a look at this contactor for people that are not familiar with this. As you see, the secondary voltage is on the bottom, and then my line voltage is right here. Um, not line voltage, but my poles for um, you know high voltage is right over here. We can draw a picture real fast. Okay, if you see in my picture, you have these normally open contacts, and then you usually have line voltage going here, and so the line voltage can't close until that coil energizes. When that coil energizes, you have it closing, letting power go through the other side, and then it can go to like a motor. So we can go up here, we can draw a little motor here. And, um, you know, it can run, you know, a motor that can drive it and make it spin around. So that's basically what these are, is up here is the contacts. It's kind of like a light switch. You turn the light switch on and off. And it's kind of like this motor that you can turn it on and off or whatever and that's basically how that works and the, the cool thing about it is, is if you're an HVAC contact contractor like I am um, you can control um, these solenoids which allow flow or bypass it and you can do this without using your transformer in your unit or turning it on and off by the thermostat and this is a good way you can test it and it's really easy to do you just um, you know connect those two leads and either turn it on all the time or use that push button thank you for watching the video and I hope you um, enjoy